Now we don't want to set this route a bit too deep. We can make a test cut on the scrap end of the stem. Our planking is going to be three eighths of an inch thick. So what we what we don't want is to overcut this rebate. So if you can imagine that that's up here on the stem and this is our plank coming in there, what we don't want is this angled cut to be more than three eighths of an inch. And that's just a fraction over. So that's too deep. I'm quite happy to chisel out a little bit more as we fit the planks. What I'm not so happy to do is to have to either glue little slivers of wood in or come up with some other way of, of packing out the planking because the groove is too deep. So I'll just try another cut. So that's a sixteenth of an inch under three eighths, which I can't work out now, but never mind. So that's pretty good for our groove around here. Now the the other issue is keeping it a constant distance from the inside of our stem. Using half of a guide plate from the router and screwing a block of wood to it, we can now undo these screws, adjust our piece of wood to give us a constant measurement from the after face of the stem. So we can clamp that on there, we'll just do a test cut. That's probably a bit close to the after edge of the stem. What would be really good is if when we cut our rebate for good to fit the planks that we come out on the edge of one of these laminates. more like it. So now remembering where we're starting and where we're stopping so we don't get carried away, we'll just cut a groove this side, turn the stem over, do exactly the same on the other side. Transfer our marks to 
the other side. Make sure we know what we're doing. And that saved us about two hours of tapping away with a little chisel, which has got to be good. The next thing we want really is to mark the shape on our stem that we want. This is the scalloped area here. This bit remains square or rectangular. And when we put our pattern on earlier, this is the, the top point. The front of our stem ends up at half an inch. So using a rather thick pen, I'll just illustrate that. And if we come down four inches from our point there to there, that's where we want our stem shape to curve. So what we're looking at is something like that. Looking at it from the front and looking at it from the side Four inches down we want to be back to here, here we want to be there, so we want a curve that sweeps down to there. And the same on the other side. Down near the scarf, we drop our pattern back on there. There's the water line marked on our pattern, so our water line is there. front of our stem stays at half an inch. Down to the water line. And this is where we scarf into the keel. So 
so we just want this half inch width here to slowly broaden out so it's at two inches by the time we get to our keel. And although that relies on a little bit of shaping when it's all assembled, we can mark a, a line in there that we can use as a good guide to cut to and plane to. Just using a bendy piece of batten That can be clamped there. Just brought out to the full width of the stem there. And drawn in. And then the same the other side, the centre line. So that gives us a guide as to where we can cut the stem. What we need to do now is accurately mark with the gauge the half inch thickness of our stem. So we measure because we're measuring in from both sides. Set our gauge to that. Let's just check that. Gives us a half inch there. So we scribe that in down to the water line. So now basically everything there needs to go. Now we can spend the next three hours with a spoke shave whittling away a bit of stem or we can cut three quarters, seven eighths of it off with the bandsaw. You do have to be careful because it is easy to cut too much but with a bit of careful measuring and angle taking it shouldn't really be too much of a problem.